Hello students. So today I will discuss the disconnection approach or retrosynthetic analysis of alkynes and dienes. In my previous lecture, I told you the disconnection of alkene molecule. Now, for the one of the important thing for this alkyne disconnection is that first of all it should be disconnected into acetylide ion. So this is the important point for the disconnection of alkyne is first alkyne should be should be disconnected into acetylide ion acetylide ion okay now this acetylide ion and um, it may act as a nucleophile and it may give the nucleophilic substitution reaction or nucleophilic addition reaction it can give so suppose if we have the terminal alkyne so first of all this should this can be converted into acetylide ion in presence of base so this will give you the acetylide ion or in presence of uh, and suppose if we have a signal reagent so this can also extract this uh, acidic hydrogen and it can give you the acetylide ion now this further it may act as a nucleophile and it may attack the carbonyl compound or alkyl halide or some other compound so suppose if we have a carbonyl compound and what it should give or if we have a uh, suppose epoxide if we have epoxide then this bond will get broken down this will attack over here and you will get okay Similarly, suppose if we have alkyl halide, then it may form the alkyl acid, uh, alkyl acid. Okay, so these reactions we should remember these reactions while disconnecting the uh, alkyne target molecule. We should remember this uh, reactions. First of all, that should be converted into acetylide ion, and further, this acetylide ion it can be uh, it can be disconnected or it can react with these molecules. So suppose if we have a one of the example, let's take one example. So in my example, if we have suppose suppose this is the target molecule. So this is the target molecule then how we will disconnect it so what i told you first of all if acetylene is there then that should be converted into acetylide ion so we can disconnect from here okay so what you will get This is one of the synthon and another synthon is the acetylide ion another synthon is the acetylide ion now the, we can write the synthetic equivalent we can write the synthetic equivalent as a, this carbonyl compound that would be the synthetic equivalent plus this acetylene okay so this is the reactant molecule now if we want to write the synthesis then we can write in a reverse manner so first of all we have this acetylene in presence of sodamide it will give you the acetylide ion and this acetylide ion in presence of 
presence of this carbonyl this in presence of this carbonyl compound so and this will give you the this will give you the target molecule okay now so now let's take another example i am rubbing it so important point is that if you see the alkene alkyne part then that should be converted into this acetylide ion okay now if you have the example So this is the one of the examples. Okay. Now this is the target molecule, and we have to disconnect it. So what should we should do? Where you see, see that this alkyne part disconnect from there. So you will disconnect it. Carbon carbon disconnection will occur. Either we can disconnect it from here, or another way we can disconnect it from here. Okay. So either you can follow first this path, or you can follow this path. No problem. so you will have this is one of the positive species positive synthon and another one another one that you will get This is another synthon. So these are the two synthon corresponding to this synthon. Corresponding to this synthon, we may write the synthetic equivalent. So you will write the synthetic equivalent. This would be converted to carbonyl. Okay, and this would be converted into. Here. Yeah. now so now this can further be disconnected now this can further be disconnected again this is the acetylene so this can further be disconnected and you will see you will see the carbon carbon disconnection and so this is the disconnection of this target molecule and we can write the synthesis in a reverse manner so if you write the synthesis then we can write the synthesis very easily okay now this in presence of and the reactant if you have this and the reactant clear so again uh, this can be converted into acetylide ion the base will abstract this acidic hydrogen and you will get
okay now further further it will react with another reactant molecule so this is the another reactant molecule we are going in a reverse direction clear and we are, we will get the this target molecule okay so now let's see let's take one more example suppose this is the target molecule and if you want to disconnect it then this is the alkene and it is alcohol also a functional group so when i discussed the disconnection of alkene then what i told you the alkene either uh, it can be converted a uh, functional group interconversion can be done into uh, this either alkyne or any alkyl halide or we may convert it into the alcohol also so here it can easily be converted into alkyne so this is this fgi can be done so after this fgi means reduction because the reduction of alkyne that will give you this alkene now it can be disconnected now it can be disconnected when disconnection is done and you will write okay so these are the two synthon and corresponding to these two synthon we can write the we have got this terminal alkyne and plus corresponding to this synthon we can write the double bond o h h clear so these are the two synthetic equivalent now what you can do we can disconnect this again we can disconnect it again and we can disconnect it sorry sorry so we can disconnect it again and you will get from here we can disconnect it and you will corresponding to this this carbon carbon disconnection again and you will get the synthetic equivalent so the synthetic equivalent one is the acetylene that you will get the synthetic equivalent this is one of the synthetic equivalent another synthetic equivalent so this is negative this is positive so oh plus and this is this is minus minus so corresponding to this same synthetic equivalent and you are you are getting two molecule of formaldehyde and this acetylene so we can go back and you will get the this target molecule okay in the same way we can proceed like before so this is about the disconnection of alkynes now if you want to disconnect any uh, suppose dienes let us take the disconnection of diene so if i take the example suppose not dienes if i take the disconnection of diene then let's take one of the example so this is diene and if you want to disconnect it if you want to disconnect it then what i told you uh, one of the these two double bonds are there and double bond can easily be converted into the uh, this triple bond by this reduction so we can do the fgi or the double bond can be converted into this uh, um, alcohol or it can be converted into alkyl halide okay so uh, what we can do so we can proceed one by one and you, you should see uh, in by which path we are getting the workable reagent so suppose i convert it into the 
alcohol. Suppose I convert it to alcohol. So we will do the FGI and we can convert it to the, this alcohol. So let's see. Suppose I converted this into the alcohol. So what we can do? Okay, so if we do the dehydration, if we do the dehydration, then here we will get the double bond over here. We will get the double bond over here. So So let's take the disconnection of alkyne, a diene molecule. Now we will discuss the disconnection of diene. So if we have, suppose one of the diene, I am taking one of the example of diene. So this is your diene. Now if you want to disconnect it, if you want to disconnect it, now two double bonds are there. While this, while I discussed the uh, disconnection of alkene. So what I told you, this alkene, case, in case of alkene, we can do the FGI and we can convert it into the either alcohol or we can convert into the triple bond or this alkyl halide. So better let's see, uh, we can convert into the alcohol. So which is best uh, way to convert the alcohol? Uh, here. So this is the uh, this is the tertiary carbon. Here we can add this OH. So here we can add the OH being this tertiary carbon. We will add the OH. So this is the OH that I have added and I have done the FGI that is dehydration. So dehydration of this alcohol that will give you this. Okay. Now first of all it will be converted into OH2 plus and this will be removed and one of the hydrogen which is present over here so this will this will neutralize this positive charge over here and you will get the this diene again okay now now what we can do this is the alcohol and we can do the we can do the this again FGI we can do we can again do the FGI and uh, better to do, do the FGI again and convert this alkene, convert this alkene to alkyne. So what you can write? This is okay. Now, so now our, our problem to the problem is similar to the above. Problem is similar to the above that I discussed. Now we can do the disconnection. Now we can do the disconnection. We can follow either the uh, disconnection of alcohol, strategy for the disconnection of alcohol or strategy for the disconnection of alkyne and you will get the, this is one of the synthon and another one acetylide ion. This is the acetylide ion. So corresponding to this, what should be the synthetic equivalent? The synthetic equivalent cyclopentanone plus and we have this acetylene. Cyclopentanone plus this acetylene. Here. Now for the, the synthesis of this, we can go in a reverse direction and we will get this target molecule. Okay, so this is about the uh, disconnection of alkyne and diene. Thank you.